Washington, the guilty plea of a 30-year-old campaign aide so green that he listed model United Nations in his qualifications shifted the narrative on Monday of the Trump campaign's interactions with Russia, court documents revealed that Russian officials alerted the campaign, through an intermediary in April 2016, that they possessed thousands of Democratic emails and other dirt on Hillary Clinton. That was two months before the Russian hacking of the Democratic National Committee was publicly revealed and the stolen emails began to appear online. The new court filings provided the first clear evidence that Trump campaign aides had early knowledge that Russia had stolen confidential documents on Mrs. Clinton and the committee, a tempting trove in a close presidential contest. By the time of a crucial meeting in June of last year, when Donald Trump Jr., and other senior Trump campaign officials met with a Russian lawyer offering damaging information on Mrs. Clinton, some may have known for weeks that Russia had material likely obtained by illegal hacking, the new documents suggested. The disclosures added to the evidence pointing to attempts at collaboration between the Trump campaign and the Russian government, but they appeared to fall short of proof that they conspired in the hacking or other illegal acts. The improbable figure at the center of the new information was a foreign policy advisor to Mr. Trump, George Papadopoulos. It was Mr. Papadopoulos, one of three men whose charges were announced on Monday, who appears to have been the first campaign aide to learn about the Russian hacking of Democratic targets. A crucial detail is still missing, whether and when Mr. Papadopoulos told senior Trump campaign officials about Russia's possession of hacked emails. And it appears that the young aide's quest for a deeper connection with Russian officials, while he aggressively pursued it, led nowhere. Mr. Papadopoulos repeatedly promoted the idea of a history making meeting between Mr. Trump and Vladimir V. Putin, the Russian president. Senior campaign officials, however, said that Mr. Trump should not make the trip and leave it to someone low-level in the campaign so as not to send any signal, according to an email cited in court documents. Mr. Papadopoulos then proposed that he himself, perhaps with another campaign official, travel to Moscow to meet with the Russians. The trip proposed by defendant Papadopoulos did not take place, prosecutors wrote. To grasp the significance of Monday's developments, it helps to recall exactly how the Russian attack unfolded. In September 2015, the FBI made its first call to the Democratic National Committee to report evidence of Russian hackers inside the committee's network. But for seven months, the word never got beyond an IT contractor and the hackers apparently had the run of confidential emails and other files. During that time, Mr. Trump was pressed to assemble a team of foreign policy advisors, a difficult task because he was shunned by many Republicans who had served in earlier administrations. In early March, Mr.